I want you to hear this last scene um, from um, his other uh, Jewish opera, Lady of the Lake. Gerard Schwartz conducts the Seattle Symphony, accompanying soprano Carol Meyer as Isabella, um, the title character. Who, the, this, is, this is the Lady of the Lake according to Malamud, not Sir Walter Scott or anybody else. Uh, and and the, this, the lady's name is Isabella. She uh, has been courted by the American Harry Freeman. He wants to marry her, but she keeps asking him if he's Jewish, and he keeps denying it. She then opens her blouse to reveal a tattoo acquired in Buchenwald and vanishes from his life. I remember how Ellie told me he found this scene very dramatic, and I couldn't help thinking he must have been inspired by the denudation scene in my opera, Hannah, written six years earlier. <laughs> um, at the production, though, the director told the composer there was no way the soprano was going to take off her blouse, um, which rather diminished the drama. But the cast was less inhibited three years later in the French premiere of Ellie's Mermaid in Lock Number 7, pictures of which appeared in various magazines and in my book. Unlike Angel Levine, which had a pre pretty successful revival of the Center for Contemporary Opera in 1999, Lady in the Lake has never had another production.